the other two right now. It's quarterfinal action from the Madden Bowl. A rematch of the Madden Challenge Final. Kratobin starting off with the ball first. As they got a little audio issue over there. A reminder, guys, speaking of audio, the 2019 Madden Bowl is brought to you by Bose, the official sound of the Madden NFL 19 Championship Series. These guys getting their audio figured out. Mo, how important is it for these guys to have whatever, whether it's music, whether it's the game sounds right, how much does that play into how they play their game? It's all about being comfortable. You know, whatever you whatever you like to do, you have to stay, you know, consistent. Uh, one, one little thing could turn you off. You know what I mean? If you hear an ad playing in your headset, that might be, you just might throw a pick the next play. You know, it, it really is all about being comfortable whether you're at home or on the big stage. These guys getting locked in. They're actually setting their depth charts right now. Look at that belt. The Madden 19 champion. We're handing that out tonight, 7 o'clock Eastern on ESPN2. And they got everything set. We're back. Quarterfinal action. Kratobin looking to set the tone early. And, and Mo, you can basically throw that Madden challenge result out the window because it was an overtime game. It was so close it could have gone either way. Absolutely. Uh, once Kurtobin missed that field goal, you kind of just felt like Drini was going to take it. But Kurtobin stayed, kept his head clean, fought back, won the game. I'm, I'm really interested to see how this game's going to go. We saw pre-stream. All three guys said Kurtobin is the most underrated player here. And I think a lot of people at home are learning how good he is considering he's in the quarterfinals. Absolutely. Somebody that's just continuing to get better. First down at 10. Kratobin, he's got Lamar Jackson at the helm. He's going to drop him down under center. Three wide receivers set. Jones in motion from left to right. How about I give it off to Joe Mixon? Picking up three. Did we see a run commit from Drini on the first play of the it game? It looked like it. I love it. I love it. Get aggressive. That's scouting, though. That's how much these guys know what different looks are for what play. Absolutely. This is a key possession for Kratobin. You don't want this game to get away from you early. Second and seven. How about a free five? And a second and two. Aggressive early from Drini. Yeah, I like the call by Drini, but I love Kratobin keeping him honest. Something something a lot of players forget to do, believe it or not, in this, this big stage. They just completely, they completely blink and don't fake snap, and here you are getting pressured every single play. I think Drini said yesterday in his matchup with Lil Man. He had aggressive on the whole game. Little man never fake snap. Wow, that's something to watch for in Ghost's game because Ghost and Drini are pretty close. I would expect Ghost to do the same thing. Got a little drop play to Joe Mixon. Big hit in the middle. Set up a third and short. That was LT, LaDainian Tomlinson at linebacker. If you guys are wondering how he's got him out there, we're playing Madden Ultimate Team. LaDainian Tomlinson has an out of position card. He's 90 plus hit power, extremely fast, of course. A pretty good budget card for these guys to use. Third and one, Lamar. Great defense. Good defense behind him. There's no one open. Look at the coverage. Blanket. Oh, he's got Coming him. Coming back. That's Jerry Rice. He'll pick up a first down at the 43-yard line. Mo, one of my favorite things about watching these guys play about Madden Ultimate Team is all these players they're playing with, the people at home can have all these cards and build the same teams. Absolutely. If we can bring up one of those lineup screens, you'll see exactly who these guys have. You can mimic them. You're not going to be just as good as them yet, but you can practice. You'll get there. It's amazing what Matt and Altman team has done for us. Jackson, pick up a yard on the scramble, bring up a second or nine. Again, this is a rematch of the Madden Challenge final. Just last month here, our first broadcast from the EA Broadcast Center inside Studio 209, Nick Zesco, Serious Mo. We're so happy to have you along with us. Happy Saturday. Happy Belt Day. Great read. Ooh. Ow. I felt that one here at the Caster's Desk. Yeah, you don't want to take too many big hits from Sean Taylor, that's for sure. The legend. But so far, early in this game, and it wasn't expecting nerves from Kutobin. No, sir. I talked to Joke. He said that Journey had bunch bag. He said that EMB, they got the best defense in the world for bunch. We'll see how it goes. Jackson, left side. Shannon Sharp. Good closeout. One thing I think Journey might be as good as anybody 
He's as sure of a tackle as there is out there. Absolutely, and I was just about to say that. He doesn't miss very many tackles. He's always he's always going to make the right plays, man. That's that's one thing I think about Drini, and he's so he's so able to adapt no matter how the game plays, whether it's a passing game or a running game. He's always able to adapt and find his own unique way to play and get it done. Second down and eight, Lamar. Good coverage downfield, Great pressure. Defense. That's thrown away. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but a look right there like Kurtoma is going to get sacked. Him avoiding that sack could be huge because he would have been out of field goal range. From here, it would be a 45-yard field goal attempt. Kurtoma's looking for six. Flipping the play. Rice alone on the right side. Now flipping the play again. Like a gymnastics team out here with all uh -oh. the blessings. It's an overthrow, and Drini sets, give me that! It's like Christmas here in the Madden Bowl as a present gift wrap for Drini's defense. Could have been for six, too. Shannon Sharp makes a huge tackle on the sideline right Let's there. Let's take a look at this Snickers replay. Intercepted right side, bad throw. Lamar Jackson, you're off your game when you're hungry. Eat a Snickers. Both of these players average about 250 yards per game in the tournament. However, Katobin only only averaging 23 rush yards, where Drini's extremely balanced. 116 rush yards per game, 136 passing yards per game. Good little tidbit to watch out for. And for the people at home who maybe join us for the first time, what are they doing? What's with the delay of game penalty? It's, it's a little jarring if you haven't watched professional Madden football before. Absolutely. What these guys are doing, they're setting their audibles. They're getting their guys in position. It takes about 30 seconds. It's pretty tough to do with the depth chart screen, so we have Detroit, most of us have a, a pretty good understanding and agreement that, you know, just give them the 30 seconds, take one delay a game, we'll decline it, and then we play it. Hand up, left side. Green to get the right hand going in the air. Joe Mixon, you okay? You good, Joe? I don't think he wants to take too many hits with Joe Mixon like that. No injuries here in Mud salary cap, Detroit, but there certainly Detroit. could have been a fumble opportunity. Drini's offense this tournament, 252 Detroit, total Detroit. yards per game average, two passing touchdowns, one interception. One of the things about Kratobin, I think people are learning, he capitalizes on turnovers better than anybody. Absolutely, and, and he's so patient. I know he threw that pick, but that was, you know, it could have went either way. It didn't have to be an interception. Just kind of an unfortunate play for him. But Drini, Drini's going to capitalize right here. It may not be a touchdown, but Drini will get points on this drive. He's so patient. He's so willing to take three. Great defense. So Tobin giving Drini a little taste of his own medicine with the coverage downfield. Absolutely. I'm loving the adjustments I'm seeing early on from Katobin. Seems like he might know him a little more than we expected him to. Second out of 10 for Drini off the interception on Tobin's first try. Detroit! Detroit! Dropping back. Looks underneath. Shannon Sharp. Pick up five. Cut it back to a third and medium. Seen a lot of Shannon Sharp use in this tournament. Hall of Famer. Tight end. Driving back, Lamar. Look outside. You got it. It's a pretty good player. So pick up the first down. Great read by Drini. Absolutely. I think we might have seen Kurtobin a little shocked. We don't see Drini in that bunch formation. I don't think we've seen him in it at all yesterday during the group game. So just a little adjustment from Drini there. Something to watch for. Drini's always ready to make a different play. He doesn't. He's not accustomed to just sitting in one formation. He's always going to adapt. First and ten for Drini at midfield. Quarter final action, do or die, single elimination. Put whatever label you want on it, it means a lot. Hand up. Joe Mixon, boy, early in this game. Drini, we saw the stats. He mixes up his play calls, keeping the defense on their heels. Absolutely, and I think that's the last play we're going to see this quarter. Uh, demanding uh, quarter from Drini right there, just just dominant. You know, this is what I this is what I expect when I see Drini play. You know, I expect him to get a stop on that first drive and take the rest of the clock with him for that quarter. It is a scoreless first quarter. Far from over here in the Madden Bowl quarterfinals. Drini and Kratobin.
Hey guys, a reminder, throughout the tournament, we're going ham on Twitch drops. We're giving away four gold or better players, a 200 pick currency quick sell, a competitive series trophy, and the 98 overall Madden 20 cover player, Patrick Mahomes. Click the link below to connect your Madden and Twitch accounts to earn. The longer you watch, the more rewards you earn. I was in the Twitch chat yesterday. I saw a lot of people. They were getting that Patty Mahomes. I saw a lot of, thank you, I got my quarterback now. I got my girlfriend sitting in there right now on my Twitch account so I can get that Patty Mahomes when I get home. four hours, man. Second quarter action. Scoreless ball game. Drini with the ball at midfield. Wouldn't be surprised if we see Drini try to use all this clock in the second quarter, believe it or not. And off. Go mix it up the middle. Well, one of the most common questions I get is why do these professional players flip the play so often? It's so easy to keep that defense the same. You have to change the defense every time they flip, and you flip it a little bit faster than you would see in real life. You know, these guys are sprinting to these positions, sprinting back. It's just really hard to, to, to adjust as a defensive player. You're having to flip with the offense. Pretty unique and pretty pretty uh, great tactic for players to use. Oh, this big third down and eight for Trini. Seven back. Great Lamar. defense. Oh, he's got a man him. right side. Put it in the bucket. He's in the red zone as a dot from Lamar Jackson. Finding the Hall of Famer Shannon Sharp. It's a play Drini goes to a lot, that deep corner route out of the tight formation. A lot of people don't run that, so you're not you're not you you're not able to practice against it. You don't see it very much online. Pretty great play. How about a handoff? Go mix it up the middle. The Tobin with a nice shot containing the run game. Early on, I'm noticing Drini's not going to be able to run the ball as much as he wanted to. It's not going to be as effective. Kind of wasting a down every time he runs it almost. Start to wonder if he'll start to go away from it. That deuce close formation. From Drini. Motion over the right side. How about a toss play to Joe Mixon? Nothing doing there. But we are seeing from Drini, maybe more than some other players, he utilizes a lot of different formations. Absolutely. And in this red zone, one thing about Drini, I don't think he has the greatest red zone offense, but he's rarely going to turn the ball over. He's, he's more than okay with taking three, especially after getting a stop. Would be very surprised if he throws a risky pass right here. Down to nine, Lamar. Got the wheel. He's looking Overthrow. Right Ooh, we've seen a couple overthrows today. I think these quarterbacks are a little amped to be playing for a Madden Bowl belt. And I think a lot of people are trying to defend that wheel, how you would defend the gun bunch motion out wheel. It's just not the same. He's making that corner bite down on the deep crossing route, and that, that cloud zone just isn't getting back out there to the guard, that wide receiver, and he's wide open. His, his quarterback just misses a complete wide open throw. But he still does get three, and as you said, it wasn't a risky throw. It was put it where only your guy could get it. Ooh. He actually put it where no guy could get it. He got three on the play. How about the hit on special teams? Kratovic, second drive of the game. Kratovic's gonna have to get points on this drive. Got a box of about 15 go Snickers on, here. They're gonna have to move it away go from you. Keep <laughs> looking at it. Go on, go on. Rest in time for Kratovic. It was a box of 24, but somebody went through 10 of them. I'm not naming names. I think it was James Coe. I am naming names. Uh oh. Julio. Catch it. And that's, that's exactly what Joke was saying to me earlier. He said, you're not going to be able to throw the right bumper against Drini, Ghost, and Little Man. They just have great defense for that for that slot wide receiver and bunch who a lot of people think is the most important receiver. He's always on your best route. So that's something to watch for. I, I would be really surprised if that Julio Jones is open too much this game. It's a quarterfinal matchup here in the Madden Bowl. Nick Nazesco, serious Mo, hanging out with you. Appreciate everybody in the Twitch chat. Hope you're excited. It's belt day. Back-to-back -back amazing catches from Julio. Julio Jones, uh, I, we've seen him on so many teams, and it's because he makes catches like that. Absolutely, and if I don't know you guys remember, that's who walked Detroit, off the game versus something Detroit. serious yesterday. Julio Jones. Right, now, lucky 56, lucky 56. Got some space. Pick up nine yards, down to the 35-yard line, bring up the second one. I love this bounce back drive from Kertobin right now. He's, he's looking to take this clock. He's not even going to turn on two clock. He's giving himself some time to think. What's his next play going to be? What's the best play for this situation? Take your time up there, kid. 
as we will hit the two minute warning. Let me know in the chat, what you guys got in this game? It's only three nothing, give me a one. If you got Drini, give me a two if you got Kratovic. Add a three on there if you want to take home that belt. Cause I'm starting to think about it. I don't got the breakaway speed though to get away from Mike the security guard. Saying a one. Jackson. Got the curl again. Until he shows some sort of defense for it, Julio Jones is going to sit in that soft zone. I think ever since I said that he'll be playing great defense on Julio Jones, he's throwing it to him every single play. Welcome to the announcer's <laughs> curse. No, 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 no. Welcome Patrick, aboard. Patrick. We got cookies in the back. Look for Kratoman to start using all this clock right no, here. No, no, no. Check. Patrick, Patrick. Important to see what he'll do with Detroit, this over here. Detroit. Play clock. Under 10 seconds on the play clock. I'll be very surprised if we see him snap before four or five seconds for the rest of this half. Got Definitely some space. Breaks one tackle. Pick up six. That draw play. A nice job keeping him off uh, kilter a little bit. Defense not picking up. Absolutely. If you're Kurtoman, that's a perfect play. It allows you to take more of that clock. And it doesn't make you uncomfortable where you have to, you know, go away from your offense. You're still able to do whatever you want. Drini doesn't know if he can run or pass right here. It's a great situation for Katobin. Look for him to continue using that Detroit, clock the rest of this half. Detroit. Would be very surprised if we didn't see another draw here. Second and four for Katobin, our defending Madden Challenge champion. How about another drop play? Tony Romo over here calling for it. And now he's in one of those tough situations. But if he's able to get this first down, he's got complete control of this half. This, this down is very, very important because if he gets stopped, he's going to have to take three, and Drini still has plenty of time to work with. Drini using one of those timeouts to give himself an opportunity to get points. Third and four. Flipping the play. Nixon now on his left hip. Bunch on the right side. Jackson at the helm. Sharp's my guy to watch for on this play. Nixon on the right side. Bunch on the left side. Jackson. Goes Got nothing. Out of the pocket. Good coverage downfield. He's going to have to throw it away. He scared me a little bit. I thought he was going to still go to Sharp. Would not have been a completion. It, it, it would not have worked out well. For it would not have. Probably pick six, honestly. Great defense by Drini. Now we're going to see him try to work something out on this last drive. All right, let's delve into the, the Madden strategy. We saw there, and I, and I saw it earlier uh, in our first quarterfinal game. We know that if you get a perfect kick, you can't get the timing for a block. But we see a lot of guys stop at halfway. Why do they do that? It's just much easier to kick it. Uh, it actually is pretty tough to kick field goals if you use that full power. So if you're if you're close, people try to just kick it sh sh shallow, like you said, half meter, just because it's so easy to miss a kick, especially from that close. And a lot of guys aren't even coming out on field goal block from the 15-yard line. 3-3 ball game in our rematch of the Madden Challenge Final. Drini with the ball. Lamar, he's got X down the field with the step. Oh. Drop it in the bucket. If you're Katobin, I think you might have been able to knock that ball out. Your, your stick work just wasn't wasn't the best on that play. If he would have ran to him, you had some time to get there and then use that his stick mechanic. You may have been able to jar that out. What about John Ross, the Cincinnati Bengals, the speedster of the University of Washington. A card I thought we might have actually seen more of, but we just haven't. Joe Mixon will not be brought down on the first down. Absolutely, and, and you're going to notice right here, Drini's, he's still, although he still has 30 seconds in timeout, I promise you he's more than happy with taking three here. I'd be very surprised if we see him take a shot down the field. I wants to get some look he really likes. Look at that, shallow. Get Fumble! It. Get it. Ball down! Get he got it. Let's Picked go. up by Kratobin! Kratobin oh. said, hey, Mo, I know Drini's looking for three, but I got other ideas. Absolutely. Once you've seen that slow strip, he's working it out. He's working out. You just know it's going to get come loose. He had all of his guys there ready to pick it up. Huge break for Kratobin. Let's see if he can capitalize before half. Let's see if Drini's defense can hold. Kratobin, he's got all three times. Oh. He can work the middle of the field. Jackson, left side. Shannon Sharks. Well, that's a, that's a bad animation for Kotobin. Absolutely, but I would have loved to seen him just 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 truck on the sideline, maybe get out of bounds. Look at this one more time. Tell us about here. this animation. <laughs> right Once here. you start to slow down, you just know it's coming loose. We've seen that animation all year long. That's going to be a fumble get every it. time. Get it. Get the ball. Let's go. Second 11. Pressure on the outside. Jack's out of the pocket. He might have been with a step over the top. 
And he'll just run out of bounds. Now nine seconds left. Dreeny's defense playing strong at the end of the half. Absolutely. I love Kurtovin's decision just to get out of bounds right there. Don't force anything down the field. Give Dreeny an opportunity to get points before half. You're playing great on defense, and you're going to be coming out on defense to start the second half. No reason to force anything. Uh-oh. He might have him. Look at over the top. No, he doesn't. Jerry Rice, good defense back there. Give me that. One second left. How about this? A rematch for the Madden Challenge. We're going to go to halftime with a 3-3 score. Green is going to have to kneel this one out. I would have loved to see a bullet pass outside right there. He lobbed it up to him. I know it's Jerry Rice, but I think you give yourself a little bit better of a chance if you would have bulleted it to the outside. I mean, no, 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 it literally no, no, could not Patrick, have turned out worse. Patrick. Absolutely. It literally could not have been worse. And it looks like Green is going to run one play. Let's see what he decides to do. Probably a run play out of those formations. See if he makes a break one. Patient run, nothing there. Zero's on the clock. We've hit halftime. 3-3. Three, three. Tie ball game. Ten minutes of game to go. Back here at the desk. Nick Mazesco, serious Mo, even matchup each way getting a turnover. Seems like it's anybody's game. Absolutely. I would give a slight advantage to Dreen. I think he's playing a little bit sharper than Kurtobin, but both players great, playing great defense. And I think Kurtobin might have a better chance of scoring a touchdown. But Drini, he's so consistent. He's gonna get down the field. He just is a little shaky in the red zone. He's he's so comfortable taking three, it could hurt him. I don't know, I don't know if you noticed. I think I saw Coach Mo on the field down there. What? For Tobin? How's it, how's it feel having Mo on the field in the Madden game? Hey, man, I love it. I hope I'm able to, to bring him to a victory then. You know, that I have no choice but to root for him now. I don't know if you can hear it, but I think we had another game going on between two of the loudest players, Ghost and Lil Man. For more on that, let's throw it over to Rico Williams. What's going on, Rico? The first half of the battle at EMB was phenomenal. We had Ghost and Little Man. These guys are very familiar with each other, so... Ghost knew exactly what Little Man wanted to do on that fourth and one and came up with a big stop. He was able to convert that into a field goal, which gave him a three to nothing lead. Little Man was a little frustrated with himself and it carried over into this next drive because he gave up another seven, which put him in the hole 10 to nothing. Little Man was able to put up a field goal right before the half, which made it 10-3. And as you can hear in the background, they are still battling, fellas. Thanks a lot, Rico. We're going to get back to the second half here between Drini and Kratobin. But, Mo, I, I said coming in today, I think Ghost looks as good as he ever has yeah, we here were, at the Madden Bowl. Absolutely. We were talking last night. I said, I think that might be my favorite to win the tournament. He just looks so clean yesterday. Extremely great reads, as always. Playing great defense because he has a lot of salary cap spent on that defense because he feels like he's such a great offensive player where he doesn't need to spend that cap on offense and you know it's making it he's he's showing why he does it. Three through the score, Drini getting the ball to start the second half. He's gonna give it to Joe Mixon right up the middle. Gets to a 34 yard line. That extra spin move put him back over the line. Drini and Katrin, by the way, they are the last two players left here in the Madden Bowl with Lamar Jackson as their quarterback. Detroit. So Mike Vick right now winning the quarterback battle. I, I, I use Mike Vick. I think Lamar, he's just, he just doesn't make all the throws to me. He messes up a lot, he messes up a lot on the run. I will say this, and, and it could be just, you know, a mirage, but every time I've seen Lamar Jackson scramble versus Vick, Jackson seems to have a little more pep outside of the pocket. Absolutely, but he does miss a little bit more throws, and I think we've seen that. Uh, Kurtovin actually overthrew a pass earlier for an interception. You just don't see that with Vick. It did get picked. He's Absolutely. My key to this game is who's going to be the first person to get seven. We see we see a couple field goals, but who's going to be the first person to get seven? I think that's going to that's going to be who wins this game. Second down at two. Why not? Ooh. Beat Joe Mixon. He's the first down marker, but I, they're going to give him the first down. Wow. Yeah, that was great stick work by Kurtovin, though. He avoids the block, comes back with the his stick, just doesn't connect completely clean with him. Great Detroit, stick, though. Detroit. Got some more time. Mixon got the edge. Mo, when we're talking about defensive play, we hear a lot of people talking about shooting the gaps. What does that mean, especially here in Madden? 
Uh, so what that means is when when somebody's running to the ball to the gap, you know which gap they're going to come through. As a defender, you want to be able to shoot it yourself. You want to be able to dive down in that gap and make the tackle yourself, force a fumble. Kurtobin looks like he's struggling to do that a little bit. Leopard, Leopard. 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 has come out and he has ground his pound his way inside the 25 yard line. And one thing I'm noticing, instead of going for these big spins and juke moves when you can easily fumble, he's just running to the spot. You know, he's not, he's, he's avoiding that big hit by not juking. Wheel route, left side. How about a first down to the 10 yard line? I'm surprised I haven't seen Drini go to that more. It looks like that's just his cover two play and everybody runs cover two. That's everybody's main defense right now. I'm surprised he doesn't go to it more. I don't know if he's trying to leave it as a little surprise tactic, but it looks like he'd go to that play almost whenever he wants. Cover two, of course, with those two deep safeties over the top. How about Joe Mixon? I love that run from Drini. That shows how good of a runner he is. Most novice players would have kept bouncing that outside. He actually cut it towards the tackle. Absolutely, Drini's playing phenomenal this drive. But like I said, this is where he gets a little—he gets a little shaky. He just wants to be able to run it in. It's hard to do in this game. Let's see if Kurtobin can stop him. Down that deuce close formation is going to close to a bunch. Uh oh. There's the defensive play Drini's been looking for. Or Kurtobin's been looking for on this run game because Joe Mixon's dominating here in the third quarter. This is where it gets really, really tough to score. Third and four. Look for one of these curls in the back of the end zone. I don't I don't love this play by Dream. This is the most risky play he has. He, he throws a pick on this play a lot. Waiting. Looks like he's gonna throw the ball away though. Looking, gets out of the pocket. He's got back him! In the end zone! Let's go! Oh my god! Oh, he extends the Come play! On. And I he finds that. John uh, that's I Roberts, that. Andre Roberts in the back of the end zone. What a job by Dreamy. Way to way to buy some time. It looked like he was just okay with throwing the ball away. But Tobin may have made a little mental error right there, sending the guy closest. I think everything was blanketed. There was no reason to do that. He had no space with Lamar Jackson. Just just a little bit of a mistake right there by Kurtobin. Ten plays, 76 yards. Three minutes off the clock and a seven-point lead for Drini. Kurtobin looks like he'll start about the 24-yard line. Looking at this one more time. Look at the extension of the play by Drini. Absolutely. I could not believe. Oh, his guy just got burnt in the back of the end zone. He's still standing there. Who is that? Ed Reed. If you're, you're just wondering why he's even on your team at this point. That was so crazy. Can he was you just make stuck cuts in sand right game? there. Like, be like, hey, Ed, I appreciate it. How about you go sit on the bench there? Yeah, in Madden Ultimate Team, you'd be able to, but it's going to be a little bit more tough in salary cap because he's probably one of your best defenders. Now, Kutobin on first and ten. Chance Sharp, eight yards. Holding the three to three would have been so huge for Kurtobin. Probably would have been able to maybe slip away, go get seven himself and feel like he has all the momentum. But now, Drini in complete control of this game. This drive is everything right now. You have to get points. Second and two. Jackson. Rolls out left got side. Got A up the field. Shannon Sharp one more time to the 35-yard line. How about this, Mo? Drini, he's made seven of eight uh, majors he was eligible for, including seven straight. Boy, can you imagine if the age limit was down to 16? What could he have done in Madden 17 if he was eligible to uh, compete? I played Drini a lot online that year. Somebody I could not be, and I felt pretty good that year. One of the better players, along with one of his brothers, his DMV brothers, Joel, both of them just had my number there. I could not be either one of them. Neither of them were eligible to play. Skimbo has it, goes on to have a huge year, but I feel like Drini was right there with Skimbo, probably the best defense by far of any competitor. He just wasn't able to compete. And ever since he's been able to compete, he's been absolutely on fire. One belt for Drini. That was the Madden 18 challenge. He's looking for a second. Detroit, Detroit! Kurtobin looking to go back to back after one of the Madden 19 challenge. A rematch of the challenge final from this year. Kurtobin on first and five. Oh, he missed his read. Get rid of it. Is he looking for that seam maybe? 
I, well, the drag was open. You were at first and five. Just pick up the first down. I think he was looking for the seam, but it just had no chance of getting open. And you just can't take that sack right there. You just can't take that sack. It does right make there. me feel a little better as, let's say, not as good of a Madden player to know that guys will lock in on receivers like I do and then end up taking sacks for them. Oh, absolutely. I do that all the time. All the time. Mo's getting mad here. He's got the wheel. Got him. Moss. First off, what a hit on the Hall of Famer, Randy Moss. And I, I think that's Kratopin's favorite play. Um, he likes to go for that every time he's in a little bit of a tough situation. So that's something to see. Dream, you'll see Drini adjust on, I'm assuming, going forward. And it looks like controllers are down. Four's up in the chat. We're heading to the fourth. Five minutes away from filling out the semifinals. Drini, he's up 10-3, but Kratobin, he's driving. Looking to tie the ball game up. Be sure to look in the Ultimate Team menu for the competitive tab and check out the new Madden Bowl themed game day program. Get Madden Pro players as coaches, MCS uniforms, and some exclusive Muck content now. Get your, get your own serious Mo coach on the field. Absolutely. That's gotta be, that's as cool as it gets. Oh, of course, man. Uh, like I said, when. When I first got that coach, my mom posted a picture on Facebook like I'm some celebrity. Hey, I promise you, that was the that was the best moment on Madden career when I seen my coach in the game. Mo can do anything. Madden player, coach in the game, commentator. You're a jack of all trades. Absolutely. Fourth quarter time. 10-3, Greeny on top. One thing I want to say is I do appreciate Kratobin's patience on this drive. A lot of people feel like they have to score quick. He took his time. He could have easily snapped to play right there to end the third quarter. He just took his time, gets thinking about what he's going to run here. I love the patience from him. First and ten for Kratobin to the 24-yard line. Lamar waiting. Looks Got to him. around Julio. Oh, it. It's picked up by Drini. Takes it out of the end zone. Let's go. What a play. I didn't even That's see I Ed Reed right there. I didn't even see Ed oh, Reed. Oh, Ed Reed makes a bad play for Kratobin on the other side, and Trini says it's playing great for me. Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. I would have made that same throw because I simply just didn't see Ed Reed, and that's why Drini's one of the best players here. What a lurk. What a play. Drini's in business. Look at this one more time. A little hide-and-seek action. Oh, my God. Look, he's just right behind him. Julio just doesn't put any, any, doesn't get a hand on the ball. Ed Reed oh, goes hey. it. That's why I paid you, man. Oh. I don't know what Ed Reed's salary party, is. Drini, he's pumped, he wants that belt. Uh -oh. He got a 10-3 lead with the ball. And now Drini with that rushing attack. He's starting to melt that clock. Here's another knock on Drini's game, in my opinion. He gets a little too conservative. You see he just ran the ball the first two downs. It just, you just, he always does that almost. He almost always does that. Sometimes you gotta mix it up, but he's a great passer on third and fourth down, so we'll, we'll see what happens here. Third and six for Drini. Look for that hitch to John Roberts. Or Andre Roberts, excuse me. I, I, the first time I was out here, I kept calling him Seth Roberts from the Oakland Raiders. Yeah, I got a little confused there. Big fourth down here, but Mo, it's not over yet. How much do you think revenge is fueling Drini, and how good would it be to get that revenge after the Madden Challenge final? Oh, absolutely. Drini feels like Kurtovin's not someone he should be losing to in the finals of a tournament. He wants to win this game. He feels like he needs to win this game. Look for Shannon Sharp here on the flats. I hope Kurtovin's able to man him up. Who needs to stop? Oh! Amazing defense there from Kratobin. Sent some pressure and covered the flats. Wasn't able to hit Shannon Sharp, so he tries to go over the middle. Jonathan Jones just waiting on him over there. And we got a 10-10 ball game again. Oh, 321 to go. Drini's going, how can we be tied? Last time this happened, it didn't work out for me. Could we see another 10-10 end of regulation overtime game? Could we see it? And the way this is going, the way this Madden ball has gone, who knows? 
Tell your friends, tell your mom, uh -oh, tell your space. grandma to tune in. And don't forget today is just getting started. And look at this pick. Little lurk over the middle. Walks into the end zone. We said, get out, get we, out. Today. Oh, come on. What a big play. He is he's, he's got to love getting that play because he saw the look from Ed Reed on the other side. Absolutely, and I feel like Jonathan Jones was kind of hiding underneath right there. It didn't look like he was guarding that route. Kind of baits him itself. That's that three wreck shaded underneath that we see from these competitors every almost on every single down. But guys, don't forget today is just getting started. We got a Skimbo Spoto semifinal. We have another semifinal to be determined at the end of these games. We're gonna show all four Rodeo uh -oh. Madden Bowl specials, and then. 7 o'clock Eastern, it's the Madden Bowl final. We appreciate all you guys all right, spending your Saturday here Detroit. with us. What a show we have. Nick Mazesco, serious Mo. Detroit. We're not even there yet, Mo, because we got to finish here in the quarterfinals. Third and two. Great defense. Oh! Great lead by just picking up the first down. It looked like Kurtobin bumped into one of his wide receivers running across the field. If he doesn't, he probably lays a big hit on Lamar Jackson for a fumble. A little bit of a fortunate play there for Drina that a lot of people might not notice. Great defense being played by Kurtobin right now. First and ten. Near that two-minute warning, he's going to have to run one more play before the warning. I would love to see Drina come out with like a verticals concept here. Just, just don't run the ball. Don't make it so obvious. I think he's going to pass it. Interesting timeout. Don't know if I love the timeout, but he probably had a play he just didn't like at all out there. I get it. Make this the last drive of the game, and that timeout doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, you're, you're, you're thinking about score, don't give the ball back. Absolutely. If you score, if you if you go on and make this the last drive of the game, that timeout doesn't matter at all. First six effort, Drini. And the pick six from Kratoba. Hands it to Ooh, Joe Mixon. Great stick by Drini. Look at that one cut. Boy, you've got to love seeing that. You hit that right trigger, shoots back inside, turns that from a two-yard gain to an eight-yard gain. Absolutely. And he looked like he was going to take a big hit from Ronnie Law right there. He avoids the big hit, goes into some softer defenders like Troy Avke. Doesn't have the hit power. Great stick by Drini. A lot of people don't make that. They just try to juke out that big hitter, and then they end up taking a big hit fumble complaining about how they lost the game because they fumbled, but in reality, it was on your own fault. You didn't have to take that big hit. And out to Mixon. Another first down, Drini. One and two in belt final. Of course, defeating Kiv in the Madden 18 Challenge. Lost to Kiv in the Madden 18 Bowl. Lost to Kratovin in the Challenge. He wants to do the bowl one more time and get himself a belt. First down away, probably, from moving on to the Final Four. Three wide receivers. Comes down under center into that deuce close formation. I think I can hear Lil Man from all the way over in the other pod. I know I do. Four yard game for Joe Mixon. When do you start thinking about using your timeouts if you're Kutobin? I like to wait until they get the first down. Or, or right after this play. I think no matter what happens in this play, we'll see a timeout if it's not an incomplete pass. I love him waiting, though. Put the pressure on Drini to use all of this 30 seconds because a lot of players Detroit, don't. Detroit. Skimbo talked about in our interview how good he was with clock management. Still here, little man just going absolutely nuts over there. Hand up to Mixon, held short of the line. 52-yard field goal from him. Don't know what the wind is looking like. But a conversion here, and you know Drini's going to be setting up for a game winner. Absolutely, and I think if Drini gets stopped here, he'll be forced to kick a field goal, which is another thing to watch out for. Mixon right out the middle. Give him a first down. Drini's looking for that sweet, sweet revenge. I think we'll see Kurtobin just, just keep his timeouts, use it for the ice kick. Still a tough field goal with these 10-cap kickers. They're not very good. Ten, ten. Finish! Finish, man! Uh-oh, I hear a little man yelling, finish. Maybe he just loves Finland. Pop it, pop it. He has some finished players. And that field goal gets a little tougher for Drini. 51 yards from here, he's got Dan Bailey. 15 out of 16 players with Dan Bailey as their kicker. It's amazing. They don't, guys set. don't spend a lot of cap set. on kickers, yet so many games come down to if you can make that kick. Kurtobin has to blow up this fullback dive right here. 
He doesn't. Don't use your timeout. Wait till you can ice the kicker. There's no point in using that timeout. So here we go. How about this? A kick. As Drini takes, or as Kratov takes timeout to ice the kicker. A kick for a berth in the semifinals. A kick for $10,000. And Drini trying to get around that ice kick feature by running one more play. I don't think it's going to work because he called that timeout with under 10 seconds. I don't think it's going to work. I think he's still going to get iced here. We'll find out. Timeout taken. Boy, 10-10. How hard? What are you thinking? Coming off the edge looking for a block. He doesn't get iced here. Pretty no easy ice. field goal. See if Kurtobin can get a block. For the semifinals, a 10 grand kick. Doesn't kick it perfect. This oh! Oh, he got blocked! Wham! Bam! Thank you, Dan! He had the animation! He didn't get the block! And Drini exacts revenge as he's on to the semifinals! Actually, what I think that was, it looked like he got that slow down animation where it would have let him block it, but he didn't actually get the animation. I'm pretty sure our ruling would have been that field goal would have been good. I'm pretty sure because because he didn't get the actual animation, he got a slower animation. I think that the field goal would have been good. We got bonus coverage here as Drini join us at the desk.